Damn. Yo, what the fuck is your problem? Oh, just don't be fucking walking in my office unpronounced. My safe's open and shit. Yo, I just pay your big ass to stand up there and protect the serve, nigga. What the fuck, boss? Courtney needed some ones and fives for the register. So she asked me if I could come and let you know. Oh, okay. Just come in and let me know about some ones and fives. Yeah, ones and fives. Come here, man. I got one finger on this here trigger. Hmm? Or I got five on this here pimpin' that I suck your barbecue lip eating ass back to the front of my club. So you go out there and you start checking identifications. In which is how you earn a paycheck in my motherfucking establishment. And ring my doorbell next time. Fuck you, think you're talking to me. Huh? Bring your ass to talking, motherfucker. That's. Hey, bitch. Bring my fat ass over here. Hey! Hey, what the fuck? Hey, 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 homie. This ain't one of the strippers, man. This one motherfucking guest. You grabbing on her and shit. Better take your motherfucking ass back over there for a prop. I'm money too, bitch.
Let's go home with you. Some medication that says, uh, you need to take two of these every four hours, but not on an empty stomach. That's okay. Uh, Leslie's getting ready to make some breakfast in a few minutes, but I think she's taking Landon out of the bathtub. Okay, cool, no, no. Mm -hmm. You know, living in this fucked up neighborhood is hot. This messed up neighborhood is, <laughs> it's hard to find you the right foods to eat. Leslie, let's get ready to make me some breakfast, baby. Okay, that's not what I mean. I, know. I did some research and I found out that our bodies need something called negative hydrogen ions or something like that. <laughs> It basically makes it hard for a cancer or disease to survive there, so. Mm, you're gonna have to explain that to me, <laughs> Well, basically, the foods we eat, they either prevent disease or they cause it. Mm. I think that's why they got a fast food spot on the corner of every black neighborhood. You don't see that stuff when you go to Beverly Hills. Mm. It's like they make it affordable for us to kill ourselves with these 99 cent menus. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna be okay. Okay. You will just like your daddy. You know that? I'm gonna go ahead and take that medication. And I'm gonna do what the doctor says do. These damn medical institutions ain't trying to kill you, Nana. They just keep you alive long enough to have you dependent on that shit. Cam, look at me. Look at me. Whether I'm here or there, God's got my life in his hands. I need you to know that, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go check on your food so you can take your medication. Okay. Hey. You know Nana loves you, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Love you too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, snow good up in this motherfucker. Baby, what you making? Oh, nothing. Ugh. Um. I got something for you. Babe, why are you always tripping? I'm trying to keep food on our table. My nana is sick. Her, med nana her medication sick has nothing to do with this conversation. You work nine to five, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay. So please help me understand how staying out all night has anything to do with putting food on our table. You know how it is when I get with Dodie and my niggas. No, I don't. How is it when you with Dodie and them niggas? Babe, come on, I got nana. I'm not stupid, Cameron. What straight man stays out with his homeboys all night when he has a family at Look, home? Look, I'm not out I'm here fucking, fucking on no bitches, all right? I'm not out here fucking on no bitches, all right? I had some important shit I had to handle. It took longer than I thought. To yeah, say. same old bullshit. That's not a good enough reason for you not to call me back, not to answer any of my messages. I what if there was this. something wrong with Landon? Okay, you're right. I fucked up. Are you mad? Yes. No. I gotta go to work. You don't want breakfast? Hell yeah, fix me a plate to go. Hit the block, beat slamming. Man, fuck the cops, the drop stain. Sit no go, kicks, pull to the side and get with a fresh bitch, a young tender. Dressed in guests, a fat booty, and some big ass breasts. Hey, excuse me, bro. Hey, you don't got no change or nothing on you? Change? You got some change. I got some. Shop, shop. Damn. A penny? Hell yeah. If you had 999,999,999.99, bro, this one penny is the difference between you being a millionaire and a billionaire. Which one do you want to be? Okay. Exactly. You want the shit okay. now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boy, yeah. What's up? All right, have a good one, man. Hey, but wait. I don't have nine thirty. 
Nigga. Ah. What's up, nigga? What up, Junior? Shit. What you got going? Shit, I'm out here early as a motherfucker about to head to work and shit. What? You fucking with John? Yeah, nigga. I got a son now. I'm trying to be a good father yeah. and shit. I'm taking my black ass to work. Fuck it. Y'all just doing up so early. Nigga. You finna go to breakfast. Nigga, you going out to breakfast now? That's cute. That's just us, nigga. Man, this nigga doing two big bitches at the water and swamming, you know what I mean? And you know they like to eat. Damn, nigga, how big are they? About this size. Oh, shit. You know this town? I ain't never felt with a fat bitch before. So you know I've been studying all my fat girl for. My nigga, is you serious? Hell yeah, nigga. Just trying to walk across the pussy, you know what I mean? This nigga ain't the way you hit, it's how you hit. When I study, nigga, you out, come up that pussy like this, you know what I mean? Nah, nigga, I don't know what you mean. Look, I'm gonna let y'all handle that. I'm gonna let you later. Hey, all right. All right. Hey, you wanna dime the dirty shit? Hell no. I'm a working man. I got time to just be chilling and fucking on fat bitches, nigga. I get it. Let you do what you go. I'm gonna holler at you. All right. All right, court is now in session. Honorable Judge Stephen Wood is the presiding. You may be seated. Dominique Collins. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Collins, this is the third time you've been in my courtroom. I see you've been driving with a suspended license and you have a warrant from a previous speeding ticket. Mr. Collins, how old are you? Seventeen. Are you aware that when you turn eighteen you'll be considered an adult in the eyes of the law? Yeah. Excuse me? <clears throat> yes, Your Honor, I understand. Mr. Collins? I suggest you start making better decisions for your life. I'm sure your mother and father would prefer to see their son headed to college rather than prison. Wouldn't you agree? I don't got that. You don't have what, Mr. Collins? Parents. They died when we were younger. It's just me and my brother. Who's your legal guardian? My brother. I'm sorry about your parents, but that doesn't give you a right to be a menace to society. You're still expected to be a law-abiding citizen. You understand? Yes, I understand, Your Honor. I'm going to give you 12 months probation, Mr. Collins. And during this time, you should think about completing your GED so you can transition back into a better path in life. Thank you, Your Honor. I once knew a nigga named Indo Weed. Used to hang out with killer slang, ice and speed. Spit had a little bitch named Mary Jane. Who had a brother named Coke and he carried a cat. Coke and Indo to be mad. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to pick up. Pick up what? I ain't call no Uber. <laughs> no, I'm looking for some powder. You know, some blow. Some blow? <laughs> the prostitutes is that way. They'll blow your ass if you got some bread. I don't know what you call it nowadays. I'm just trying to get high, man. Hey, what about some uh, weed or pills? Hold on, just nigga real quick. You think I'm stupid? I know a cop when I see one. <sighs> Officer. Come on. 
Bro, I'm just trying to get through. Hi, man. <laughs> so how you know me? This nigga and this nigga out here. And you just gonna walk up calling me by name, dummy. Hey, 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 hey. So, so somebody like hey. you just gonna walk up on three random niggas in the hood knowing names and shit, right? Right? Huh? Hey, look, huh? I ain't got nothing on me, homie. Not for damn sure to know about no pills, low, or whatever else y'all white boys be on. So get the fuck out of my face. Bounce. Oh, they're trying to get us 24 7. Exactly. Always on 10 toes. Would you like an email, copy, or receipt? Okay, excuse me, can you please hold for a moment? I'm sorry, Cam, I couldn't cover for you this time. He got here early. Thank you. Okay, thank you for holding. Hey, what up, Mr. Torres? Hey, we still working on that radiator job, right? Why are you late, Cam? Nah, I've been here. I just went to the store, grabbed something for my lunch, you know. Don't lie to me, Cam. A real man accepts responsibility and deals with the consequences of his actions. Come on, you know how it is, Mr. Torres. I got my son, I have to grab some stuff from my grandma. Shit, the car is still tripping. Stop the excuses. This isn't your first time. And that's why it won't ever happen again. I'm gonna show you I really appreciate this opportunity. Do you? Do you really appreciate it? When you first came in, you were humble. You said you had a baby, you were a hard worker. You just needed a chance. I am a hard worker. I finish everything you tell me to do ahead of time. Yeah, that's when you're here. You can't come in whenever you want. I run a business. I have to be able to depend on you. Can't depend on me, Mr. Torres. Who is that moving forward on moms? I'm gonna be here 20 minutes early. I'm gonna stay 20 minutes late. Shit, if I got to, I'm gonna sign every tire in this motherfucker, man. Let me know. I gotta what I got let to you do. go, Cam. I just said I'm gonna be here 20 minutes early. My other employees don't have a problem getting here on time. I can't let you do whatever you want. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm dealing with a lot of shit right now, man. Look, I like giving guys like you a chance. Because one time, I was a guy like you. The difference is being able to recognize an opportunity when it's right in front of your face. Sorry, turning your uniform. Look, why don't you come back later this afternoon? I'll give you cash for last week's work. Hey, fuck that shit. And the car you showed me was a piece of shit. Like your punk ass in the back, too. I'm out this bitch. Didn't I say that though? You said it. You said yeah, it. man. Yo, we can't go against the champ, and you ain't even never even fought a fight. Where they do that at? Same. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, hook me up. Like, edge me up first. And then, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little tape. Tape me up. Gotcha. Hello. Everything is in motion. Oh, hold up, hold up, chop. Let me take this, bro. I'll be right back, though. Hold my seat. What's going on? We well, all set, so uh, pack up your shit. You gotta catch a flight. Right. There's a clear port right outside Nevada that charter private jets. So. Be there in 72 hours. Wait, 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 wait. We got our first pickup. 72 pickup. hours? That's in three days. Yeah, nigga, three days. What's the problem? Nah, nah, no problem, sir. Just was, uh, didn't expect it to be this soon, you know, but I'm good. Hey, so who we picking up from? Don't worry about none of that shit. It's all taken care of. But there will be a new team out there. Wait, wait, wait. A new team? Are you sure you want to do that, man? To be honest, I'm saying, though. No. My team real strong out in Nevada, bro. Maybe we could bring them out and rebuild Vegas. Yeah, I understand. But this shit ain't my call. It's coming direct from Rags. You understand what I'm saying? Plus, 
Having niggas from the area make it a little easier to move around out there. Anything pop off, you let them new niggas take that out. Right, 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 right. I got you. Go and let Rags know I'll be there. All right, no doubt. As soon as we hang up, I'm gonna shoot the flight up, bro. Hey, Thomas, were you uh, able to pull those arrest records for me? Already on your desk, Jake. Just, it's just sad, you know? Mm. These kids out here are just ruthless. I mean, it's alarming, actually. I mean, look at this. <sighs> 17-year-old male in custody for killing a 15-year-old and a 19-year-old boy last night. It makes me sick. Jake! Jake! Get in here! Get in here! I'm tired of this bullshit. What's up, Captain? What's this I hear about Harris requesting more money for the Turan case? Well... From what I know, Captain, let me be, just make it clear, that's not a lot, but from what he's saying, there's supposed to be some sort of shift. He's got to double down on the product to avoid having to make an actual sale this time. What? What type of ignorant shit is that? I'm just about tired of his bullshit, but I can't deal with that right now. I just got a call. There's been a shooting down at an elementary school. I need you to take Thomas and get down there and check it out. Wow. An elementary school? Yeah, I know. And if you hear from Harris, you tell him I say get his ashy and arrested ass in my office immediately. Right away, sir. Tired of this bullshit. Yeah, it's done. Moss is here. Everything worked out. It's all good. We're just having him eat ASAP, alright? Swear. Profile, ain't gotta deal with a gang of traffic coming through. It's perfect, man. All right, no doubt. Work. Hey, yo, who was that? I was trying to highlight Raz, let him know he picked up the work with no problems, but he ain't available right now, though. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you how did Rags manage to get this much cocaine in California? Cause even on boats is damn near impossible. Rags is smart, man. He keep a large reserve of product in these big ass barracks down south, so in times like these, he don't even need to move it from out the country. Sorry in the States, man. Oh, okay, so he told you about the barracks. Nah. One of my niggas followed up with some other shit I needed done out there. Matter of fact, why are you asking all these fucking questions? Maybe I'm tripping, I'm starting to think you wearing a wire around this motherfucker. What?
wearing a wire, nigga. Fucking with you, man. <laughs> Come on, chop. Me wear a wire? Look, Raz got lawyers, DEA, politician, the police, all under his payroll. He probably moving this shit right in front of their face, ain't no telling. We just small pieces to this shit. All right, Mrs. Garcia. If anyone looks familiar in any way, you let me know, okay? Okay. Can they see me? Not at all. It feels like they're looking right at me. Don't worry. You're safe. Your identity is protected. Just take your time and try to remember. You ready? Number one, step forward. Turn to your right. Turn to your left. Anything? Step back in line. Number two, step forward. Turn to your left. Turn to your right. Him? <laughs> Number two, step back in line. Number three, step forward. Turn to your left. Turn to your right. What about him? Number three, face forward. Huh? Number three, step back in line. Uh. <laughs> so in the kitchen cooking a little something, come on in. Oh yeah? Let me fix me a plate then. Of course. <laughs> mm. I know how much you love my greens. Yeah. You know I love everything you make, Ma. I really miss it. And I miss cooking for you. So, how Leslie, my grandbaby? Oh, Leslie doing real good. Landon, man, it's getting so big, Ma. Oh, he's smart, too. Oh, no, no, it's baby. How's Grandma doing? I made some food last week. I came by to drop some off. It seemed like her spirits were high. No, oh, no, no, doing real good. I, uh, picked up some of her medication the doctor prescribed for her, so she should be all right. Mm. Yes, that's good. I hate her having to take all that mess. Me too. Mm. I was going through some old boxes and found that. Do you remember that day? Hey, little Cam. I just gotta go out and handle something real quick. But I'll be right back, okay? Daddy just gotta go take care of something. But you know Daddy love you, right? Yeah. All right, my man can. <laughs> well, why do you have to leave out right now, Chris? I'm gonna be right back, okay? You don't have to always listen to your friends, Chris. I love you, baby. wrong. Since you got here, I could tell something is bothering you. It's nothing, Mom. Look, son, even though I don't mind, it's not like you just pop up. Now I know my child. Now what's wrong, Cameron? I don't know, Mom. I've been having these, uh, 
these dreams. Really? Dreams about what, baby? I know it's about that, I guess. I've been having them a lot lately, and I don't know why. Has gone by, I haven't thought about your father. I miss him with everything inside me. The biggest fight of my life was trying to find a way to move on without him. Well, I watched dad get killed right in front of me. He was my superhero. Now every day I gotta look into my son's eyes and I gotta lie when I tell him that daddy won't ever leave. Cause all it's gonna take is for one of these motherfuckers out here to end my life and there ain't shit that I can do about it. Don't talk like that. I will not lose you too. Losing your father, me and you went through hell. God. I didn't understand that at the time. But now I'm older, man, I realize. I'm now a man trying to raise up another man. And I never even seen an example of what a real man is. If you want to see a man, then go look in the mirror. You'll see what a man looks like. You don't need anything or anyone. God has already given you everything you need. I just want to give my son something better. Then you get Leslie and Landon far away from this baby. Do whatever you gotta do. Even if you gotta work 10 jobs, it'll work out, I promise you that. <sighs> do you remember your father's best friend, Nixon? Yeah, why? Well, I ran into him recently. After your father died, he completely turned his life around and gave it to God. That's what's up? He's a preacher now. <sighs> this is his church. You should stop by sometime, maybe take Leslie and Landon. Hey, y'all niggas find anything? Nigga, we ain't find shit. You? Oh, no. Nah. Fuck it, let's get up out of here then. Alright, these fucking bitches. Hey, nigga, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Look at this shit, nigga. Hey, Cam, nigga. Fucking cocaine. Yeah, we need it. This is coke. Back that shit up. Oh, man. Hey, damn. Hey. It's cool. Shit. I see all your head. Okay, so this is the spot. Totally. Yeah, that's my shit right there. Hey, yo, what the fuck is in the car, man? What the 
fuck y'all doing? Fucking Hell yeah, nigga, we Bobby, you nigga, we know what the fuck we doing. Look, motherfucker. All the new niggas coming down here to our hood. Throwing all this money and shit. You know where you at? Throw this nigga on the floor. You lucky I don't put a bullet in your motherfucking head right now, nigga. You fucking with the Dino. Some niggas came in the spot that only you and me knew about. Uh, it took the 30 keys that only you and me knew was in there. Man, I didn't, I had nothing to do with that, dog. I should kill your ass. Wait, 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 hold on, chill. We had bitches coming through there, okay? And if I had anything to do with it, I would need to make a sale to get paid, right? So how can anybody move 30 keys of coke in the streets undetected? Huh? All we gotta do is wait, man. And the niggas that took them with exposed they sell. Ain't nobody connected like that without rags knowing about it. Alright. Okay. Ain't nobody can move that kind of way without hitting the radar. Right. But I'm gonna tell you this, if we don't find these niggas before Rash find out about this shit, he ain't gonna listen, nigga. He gonna kill both of us, man. God is good all the time. All the time. He will fix it. Yeah. Our so called leaders in today's time, our so called leaders are not leading our children. They're not willing to take religious or political stands for the sake of the lives of little black and brown boys and little black and brown girls. So I pose the question as to why. why? Is it that they're feeling too overwhelmed with oppression? Or is the task just too difficult? Or do they lack the love or even the knowledge that it takes to bring about change? The truth of the matter is that they are in fact filled with fear of having to plant one footstep in the soil of our neighborhood. To organize our thugs, our gang members, to put an end to the senseless violence and deaths happening in a black and brown community across America? Or do they simply just not care enough? To the point that they're giving up on the fight. The fight that we're losing in the black and brown community. Our so-called leaders, should they do more? Should they say more? Or should we as a people not question just accept the powers that be that's misappropriating funds in our community? 
Or should we as a people not question, just accept police brutality? Don't you move. Or should we as a people not question, just accept ideology? Not created by, but instead forced upon an entire race of people from which we are condemned. The black man has been strategically removed from the black family structure all because we had no choice but to engage in survival tactics from the conditions we was placed in. Who fight to fight for our sons and our sisters and our brothers and our fathers that never stood a fair chance in this game they call life? It has to be something greater. And I come here before you today, church, to tell you yeah. there is. Yeah. There is power. Yeah. There is energy. Yeah. And there is a God that deserves our faith, yeah. not man. After all that can go wrong has gone wrong. We have to lean on everlasting love and hope. I said hope, hope. that we will see a better tomorrow. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. Wow, look at you. You was a little boy last time I saw you. You all grown up now. You know me and your father. You know your father loved you more than anything in this world, right, Cam? Is that right? Yes, that's right. Us being wrapped up in the streets was just a means to the end. And why didn't you just get out? You couldn't just... Walked away like you did. It was complicated. We was young. Young kids, no guidance. No teachers, no fathers. All we had was each other. Look, I don't want to hear that shit. If you were so great- Please, please, Ken, we in the house of God. My bad. I just don't understand. If you were able to walk away, then why didn't my father? I lost my brother. I didn't just walk away, him dying? Maybe he didn't care like that. Cam, I know you're angry, you're hurting inside. And I can't imagine what that feels like, son. But God don't make mistakes. It's beyond our understanding. And you and me gotta have faith in that. Faith? Yes. God? What was God when I watched my father die? God was there too? Yes, he was. If God wasn't there, you and me would've died that night. And God did not want your mother burying you too. Sometimes in life, we only good as the things we know. We was just kids, Cam. And I know deep down in my heart, if your father can do it over again, he would choose you and your mother a thousand times. Look, I ain't come here to argue with you or nothing like that. My mom's told me this was your church, so I came down here because I actually need your help. Whatever I can do, sir. All right. I need a connect. A connect? Hey, me and the homies, we got about 30 keys. We trying to move through the streets right Got now. some keys? What kind of keys, son? We got about 30 bricks of cocaine we trying to move, man. Oh, okay. Look, this is my ticket out the ghetto. You making the wrong decision, son. You don't want to do that. Me and your father been there. Look, I got a son and a girl depending on me. I'm all they got. I ain't no rapper. Plus, the white man ain't doing nothing for no black folks out here, and you know that. Okay, I see. The white man, that's your excuse? Yeah. Hell yeah. You see the way black folks is living out here? Killing us for no reason. When you walk out those doors, who's most likely to put a gun to your head, huh? The police are another black man. See, that's my point. We so fast to blame the white man, but when do we hold ourselves accountable for our own actions? The white man ain't tell you to sell that cocaine you came up on? But this is my only option at this point. You wrong if you think it's your only option, Cam. Pursue your education, pick up a trade. I can't afford to pay to go to some big university. It's ways around that. That cell phone you got in your pocket, that's a tool. You can go online and learn about anything. It's about what you know how to do that will get you the job. Not always about a degree, son. Look, the police is killing us before we even get a chance to go to college. The moment we smarten up as a race and go invest in a million dollar life insurance policy on ourselves, and if one of us is killed out there on the streets, 
it will make our family instant millionaires. And I guarantee it'd be word coming straight from the White House. Stop killing black folks. Is that right? That's right. A few rich niggas is okay. But a race full of rich niggas will resurrect Jesus Christ himself. Let me ask you something. What makes you so smart, Nixon? Because at the end of the day, you still ain't nothing but a convict. I was caged up for 12 years and three months. But I'm out that cage now, son. So you tell me, what's your excuse? Whatever. You know what they say, Pastor. What they say? Once a street nigga, always a street nigga. Change your mind. Holla at me. My mom says hello. I'll pray for you. Yeah, you do that. Baltimore, you got a visit. Open eight. I step out. Yellow line all the way down. Go. My brother B more. Been almost 15 years, brother. How's it going? made that drop, they got my ass put in this box, you and Chris was in my head. I was on catching all the charges, and you know we did that shit together. First of all, Chris is dead, and I ended up doing a 12-year bid. While I was locked up, I found God, and that changed everything about me, B. Yeah, well? Well, I made a vow to myself that if I ever get out of there, I would never look back, not even at my past. What the fuck are you doing here, Nixon? I need a favor. But it's not for me. It's for Chris's son. That's why I'm here. I need your help, B. I don't know, maybe five or six months. Yeah, but none of it is relevant unless we got it on tape, you know what I'm saying? I may need you to do me a favor. Well, well, well. I'll call you back. Look at this. We've been looking for you for way too long. You know, is it me, Harris? Have you completely forgot what it means to be a detective? With all these fucking requests, 10,000, 50,000, another 50,000, and all these exonerations and a bunch of other bullshit, I would think you forgot what side of law you're supposed to be on. You know me. Put out the cigarette. Captain, you know me. This is not the streets. Put out the goddamn cigarette. You're still an officer of the law. At least that's what the badge you represent is supposed to mean. Now, what's this I hear about you want to be transferred back to California? Yeah, man. I'm going to need a little more time. More time? You've been on this case for 15 goddamn months. You haven't brought me not one shred of evidence to bring this guy in. The only thing I got is a bunch of names of other people to take down. Come on, Captain, man. You know we had to pull back in Miami. If we tried to bring him in, it would have been a bad move. No charges would have stuck. 
because our three informants all of a sudden didn't want to testify at the last minute, everything would have been reduced to intent to distribute, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe that was a possibility. No, that was a fact, Captain. And you knew it. This name you knew, Jack City. You ain't IT. Sit your ass back down. I'll run this precinct. Look, Cap, right now, if I stay in, I know I can take him. What makes you so sure? What does going back to California have to do with this case? The nigga wants to expand. And get this, he's moving out of Spanish Town, Jamaica, to Beverly Hills on some bougie shit, doesn't want to shut down any of his current operations. He wants to get a whole new crew out here, and you know what that means. Who? Swiss motherfucking cheese. You're damn right. Swiss cheese. Man, that's what I'm saying. Look, there will be a bunch of holes in their playbook. No one can move that Charlotte with a new crew. That shit takes time, man. Plus, he doesn't know we've been on him. Any little slip up from him or his crew, <laughs> we can book him on state's law. He's on you where saw you. Mm -hmm. You know what? You got six weeks. Six weeks to bring me something. Or I'm gonna pick you off this case and maybe even kick you off this force. Are we clear? Clear as ice cubes. Another 15,000. Like I said, you bring me something fast, but that's your ass and your badge. God damn it. He's here. Thank you. Bring him in, please. Right away, Mr. Turan. Если он вам не угодит, я давно ждала шанса использовать свое новое оружие. Нет, я по реакции. You got to feed over it. Wow, you're beautiful. Welcome. Mr. Turin is expecting you. Great. Drink this. What's this? You cannot meet Mr. Turin until you do. What did you give me? <laughs> My eyes! I can't see! I assure you that is only temporary. I have to ensure my safety. And yours. You must try to whine. It is a Chateau de Chem. Antique bottle in 1893. Preserved due to its high levels of acidity. A fine vintage part of an elite 
ever produced in Bordeaux. A hundred grand per bottle. I'm looking to expand my business. I want to capitalize on the rapid growth in the distribution market of Southern California. You want to move your business to California? Yes, that is correct. I don't know if I could offer you the same protection in California, Mr. Torrent, sir. And why is that? When offering my services, there are certain areas that I stay away from, and California is one of them. I don't care! I propose double for any city I choose in California. I'm not sure you understand, Mr. Turan. It, it's a different protocol. No! I don't think you understand! I pay you to make bad shit go away, right? I'm looking at San Bernardino County in Southern California, which is 82 minutes from the main city. California monetary return would be like three more cars in one. Unfortunately, no is not an option. I'll be expecting results. Trust me, it's better for you if I don't get angry. I'm walking dead! A ghost! I made up with no reason! Steps my money, you understand me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Roll out. Title, 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 I know some fly ass niggas. In the DI and O. Man, I know so many turned up bitches. In the DI and I know so many wretches, I know so many real ones In the D.I. and oh. Niggas in the Dino that'll do some crimes for the bread like Gambino. Yeah, all about they chips and mac a bitch up out her Sino. Simba staying in the Dino since they was a Bambino. I know some OGs that be strapped up, and I know some YGs that be racked up. I know some bad bitches that'll fuck you for some cash. They had a pimp nigga try to rob you for your stash. I know some real niggas in the D.I. and no. I know some go getters in the D.I. and no. Man, I know some bitty killers in the D.I. and no. You ain't gotta be a cigarette for you to get smoked. I know some OGs. G's in the Dino from the city That slang rocks don't smell a lot cause ain't shit pretty Don't know me, then you ain't a factor In the 909, bitch, say it back I know some fly ass niggas In the D.I. and O Man, I know so many turned up bitches In the D.I. and I know so many wretches, I know so many real ones In the D.I.N.